Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're doing a linking buddy guide and discussion video on the new Doken Awakenings of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. That's this guy right here, Doken Awakenings into this guy right here, and the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta GT that Doken Awakens into this awesome unit right here. Now we do, I do want to have a discussion of the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta GT. Um, we want to talk about him as compared to his new counterpart. I know I have not done anything other than go over the card when he was announced. Um, I want to do a full in-depth video. We're going to be doing a, essentially two videos uh, with this card. He is currently not available on Dokkan Battle Builder, so I am still not have done, done a video on it. It is currently June 13th if you're tuning in to this video at a random date in the future. This guy has not been added to Dokkan Battle Builder, but he is here. We're going to talk a little bit about the differences between the two of them, but I'm, I think that this warrants, this these two warrant their own video, along with the physical um, Vegeta versus his strength counterpart, the non-GT variant for the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, as we do a comparison between the two of them. And with that video, I'll probably end up having that up before I do the linking guide video uh, for the other two, just because it's uh, I'll probably end up doing that tonight. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and talk about the guys who we are, currently do have available. Focused on Victory Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. Now, um, this is a pretty good unit beforehand. Attack plus 70% when facing three or less enemies, which is most of the time. So two, one or two enemies, he's getting a 70% of the attack buff. Um, he does have over in a flash GT, Kamehameha Super Saiyan Golden Warrior. So he has some decent links. Uh, limit breaking form, which is kind of like, eh, at this point because it's only attack plus 2000 not horrible but it's only a flat out buff just like the kamehameha it's kind of flat out buff it's just nothing really that great he's part of the super saiyan 3 and pure saiyans category uh thing with that is all super saiyan 3s are inherently part of pure saiyans unless it's like a specialized thing um so pretty much all the time they're going to be one in the same at least when all super saiyan 3s should be in pure saiyans but not all pure saiyans will be in super saiyan 3 it kind of works that way so i don't need to do separate linking guides for both of those because their best linking guides for Super Saiyan 3 are going to be the same best linking in pure Saiyans. Uh, max stats of this guy don't really matter right now because we're talking about his Doken variant. This guy Doken Wakens with 35 medals from the Super Saiyan 4 Goku event. You got to go over here. Man, I remember this brings back memories from last year, a year ago when this came out. You had to go up against Stage 2 on Super 2 and you had to beat it... Um, five times and you beat it five times on this level right over here and you will be able to get the medals in order to doken awaken him uh, characters with hatred of the saiyan link will do better damage but if you guys have any of the category leaders you'll be able to go through without any problems uh but go ahead and do it the same thing's gonna happen with the vegeta except you're going up against the super saiyan 4 vegeta uh, event instead of the super saiyan 4 goku event when Super Saiyan 4, uh, 3 Goku doken awakens he becomes zealous offensive super saiyan 3 goku gt now personally and I said this before when he came available on the JP side. I really felt like he should have had a great 8 mechanic. And honestly, I feel like he should have gotten that mechanic on the global side. Because Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta still doesn't have anyone to link very well with. I feel like if he was given the great 8 mechanic, he would have had the um, the, the at least the great 8 transform attack buff that he could have had with Vegeta. Even if he doesn't have the same pride link. But whatever, what can you do? Um, leader skill is all types, HP, attack, and defense plus 60%. Not bad, but not great because there's no key there. Super attack, su super Kamehameha, supreme damage, and raises attack for three turns. Meh. Pass skill, mental prowess and battle, attack and defense plus 90% at the start of the turn. That's actually a really good links uh, passive skill because not only is he getting an attack buff, he's also getting a defense buff and it doesn't require him to super attack. So he, you could actually put him in the first slot and he'll have that defensive buff, which will definitely help him out. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super saying Kamehameha over in a flash GT limit breaking form and fierce battle now his link skills are not lacking he has some good link skills I wish some there were some more percentage buff attack buffs uh, there isn't so you only really have super saiyan there you have you have limit breaking form in Kamehameha but it's really not doing too much so you're really relying on Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle. And because he's a Super Saiyan 3, when you run him on a Super Saiyan 3 team, you really only need over and a flash. When you just add things on there like Golden Warrior and GT, it's just like almost guaranteed super attacks all the time. Category is Super Saiyan 3 and Pure Saiyans. Max stats are HP of 9786, attack of 7785, and defense of 4724. Um, he does get some decent buffs. If you want to go look at that, go ahead and pause the video. Uh, details, 12 key multiplier of 140%. Raise attack for three turns is a 50% buff. Overall, not a bad unit pretty cool um he wouldn't be a primary unit that i run on my team but he would be an a tier unit in my opinion he does have a good attack and defense buff he does have some good link skills and he does increase his attack over time you do three i would give him additionals as well he already has the built-in additional so if you just continuously give him all additionals or at least a, a decent amount of additionals the constant attack super attacks that he gets if he gets them he's just going to continuously do more damage keep that in mind when you're when you're thinking about putting dupe system into him now i'm not going to say not to do it i 
I would consider doing it. I'm just not going to because I have better units to put my, my orbs into. In terms of best linking buddies, uh, I just did best linking buddies that are not Super Saiyan 3s, and that's only one in-game as of right now, which is Super Saiyan 4 of Gogeta. He links very well with him for five link skills. Super Saiyan Kamehameha, Over to Flash GT, and Fierce Battle. I think like the only thing he's missing is like, um, uh, what is that, a uh, limit breaking form pretty much. Uh, yeah, limit breaking form and over and a flash. Is it over and a flash? You know, I think he's had not over and a flash is there. So I mean, it doesn't matter. He still got some good links in there with him. Um, pretty much hits off the uh, all the percentage ones. So you get the 10% and 15% for 25% attack buff, um, and you get five key when they're linked together. So these guys will always be getting super attacks off if you want to link them together on like let's say a heroes team or something like that. They'll link very well together. Um, in terms of best linking buddies. Uh, overall for mono agility you go over here four of the three of them the easy egg goku which is awesome five link skills over here which is um 25 attack buff a 2000 limit breaking form golden warrior for one key and over a flash for three key you have the uh, kaioken super saiyan blue goku which is a uh, 25% attack buff, 2500 for Kamehameha, and over in a flash, which is three key. So Kamehameha is the other one that the Gogeta was lacking. And you have the Super Saiyan Godku card, or the Super God, or Godku, whatever you want to call him, which is the same thing, 25% attack buff, 2500 Kamehameha, and over in a flash for three key. Overall, these guys will always be launching super attacks if you link them together. And honestly, the two, well, these two anyway, will most likely be on your mono agility team if you have them, because they're very good. The Kaioken Goku, I still, to this day, will say I like the Super Saiyan Blue Goku over the Kaioken Goku, uh, just because the, he hits harder than the Kaioken Goku when you have him in at least base dupe system. And I have mine 100%, so I will always use him. Kaioken Goku is not bad at all. I love his artwork, and I love his animations. I just never run him. I'm not going to put dupe system into him anyway. But um, overall, that's what I'm going to say here for the Mono Jelly team. He definitely has some good viability because if he is a good unit and he links with other good units, these are S-tier units, especially the Easy A Goku. He is an A-tier unit. Um, in terms of Super Saiyan 3 category, I mean, honestly, Super Saiyan 3s, they all link very well together. It's going to be very, this team is is perfect for linking. Um, so it's really going to be, like, difficult for me to try and narrow it down to best linking guys. Um, but si six six links um, with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT gr Golden Grade 8, he, he hits off everything, pretty much. Yeah, he hits off Super Saiyan Kamehameha over to Flash GT, Fierce Battle Limit Breaking form. So he hits off all the link skills. Um, the other one is going to be the free-to-play Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is uh, actually all the link skills as well. So those two are good, but I probably would never run him on a team anyway, and just, just not my thing. Um, what is he? Uh, high chance of attack was 180%, so there's no guarantee of that attack. When it goes off, yeah, he'll be doing great damage, but when, that's only when it goes off. Do you really want to do that? I mean, if it's just uh, over a stupid event just to have fun, then yeah, definitely, but I won't run in primary. Uh, next ones, all these are five or more. Pretty much the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Angel Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Easy A Goku, Super Saiyan 3 OG Strength Goku. I can't wait for him to get an Easy A. That would be pretty cool. I feel like he should have got the Easy A along with the Agility Goku, but whatever. What can you do? Um, the GT Vegeta is definitely going to have a place, and this is one I said I'm going to want to talk about in a separate video with the physical one. We're going to do him a, compar a comparison of him and the physical one, and then this guy and the new technique one. Um, we're going to touch upon this guy in this video just because it kind of warrants it since we're doing a team building guide. And then we don't have this Go Dalt Gotenks he's just not here um adult tanks <laughs> and this goku or super saiyan 3 goku which is the baba shop physical one which gets a doken awakening he's not good at all so honestly all these guys are awesome um you have, i would pretty much say run let me get these guys out of here these are the ones that i would consider running on a team and he's defensive he is support so these are going to be the three over here that are going to be primary for li him linking with um if you want to link with him on a team as a primary unit so up to you on what you want to do. They all have some good benefits. Some do, some don't. Um, I think Kamehameha is the only one in here that's going to be more beneficial than anything else. But, I mean, it, it's really not that much anyway. But there you go. That's at least for his best linking buddies. And we're moving on to the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta GT. This is his old form. All types keep plus 2 attack and defense plus 20%. Supreme damage attack and defense plus 70% when HP is 30% or above. Uh, old link skill set. Not great, but not bad. At 135% uh, 12 key multiplier. Again, same thing as the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. As I stated before, you need to get the medals from the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event. Go over here, run it five times. Run it on Super 2. You'll get all of the um, uh, medals for that. You need the Shadow Dragon's link. So a Shadow Dragon team will be very, very beneficial for you to take on to take on that event. When he Doken Awakens, get those uh, 35 metal Doken Awakens. It's the Limitless Saiyan Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta GT. Leader abilities, all types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack is final 
Eternal Flesh. Supreme damage to the enemy raises defense by 30% for three turns, which is really freaking phenomenal. Attacking defense plus 90% at the start of the turn, which again is really awesome. He could also be the primary unit, the first unit in the turn if you want him to be, because the defensive buff kicks in as soon as the turn starts. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, Limit Breaking Form, GT, and Fierce Battle. So he gains Fierce Battle, which is pretty awesome. Categories of Super Saiyan 3 and Pure Saiyans. As I stated with the other Goku, Super Saiyan 3 implies Pure Saiyan, so that he's going to be on pretty much all the Super Saiyan 3s that he links well with will also well work well on a Pure Saiyan team. Um, and max stats are going to be HP of 9134, attack of 8232, and defense of 4491. Pause the screen if you want to look at the other dupe system information. Um, 12 key multiplier is 140%. He is a pretty damn awesome unit overall. I think he's pretty cool. If you happen to pull the Technique one, the only thing about the Technique one, and again, I have not gone over this yet, guys. I'm waiting until it comes out on Dokkan Battle Builder so I can do some linking buddies. But he has the same exact link skill sets minus um, Fierce Battle. So in terms of link skills, these guys are the same exact unit. When he ever gets Dokkan Link, he's going to be awesome. Um, this guy is Super Saiyan 3 category leader, um, So, it, but his leader skill, we're not really worrying about that because we're not going to talk to him about him as leader. We're talking about just him as a unit on a Super Saiyan 3 team. Uh, Supreme damage raises defense by 30% for 6 turns as opposed to 30% for 3 turns, so he has better defensive uh, stats. Passive skill, yearning for strong foes, attacking defense plus 70%, which is what this his old thing was, but it's limit, there's no limit to it. But he gets an additional 60% attack for 5 turns after being attacked. Now that 60% comes into play after the attack and defense or the attack buff of 70% comes into play. So you get the attack plus 70%, then he gets attacked. Whatever your stats are at that point, those stats get added onto the 60%. So as you see down here, when you take that into consideration, he will get a total attack buff of 172% for five turns. So think about that, about 100, that, that's 172% attack buff. And that buff from, the, from getting attacked also comes into play after you take into consideration support units. So if you have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku for the support, you're going to get an even higher buff. So these two are kind of interchangeable for certain things. He has Fierce Battle. He is a strength unit as opposed to a technique unit, but the technique one has a lot more going on for it, but he lacks limit breaking. Oh, I'm sorry, a Fierce Battle. And um, I mean, other than that, I mean, he's also, well, that, neither of these guys, well, he's technically not on Pure Saiyans yet because he's a global exclusive. We don't have that category system yet, uh, but that's what he, he is here. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's mixed bag. He, get, he has a lower attack and defense buff, but his attack is higher for five turns. Um, he gets less defensive buff on his passive skill, but he has a longer defensive raise um, in his super attack passive. So it's like one of those things where it's like they are interchangeable. Which one do you guys think is a better unit? Bef not considering that he may get a Doken Awakening in the future. Between the two of them right now as they stand, the TUR Strength one and the SSR uh, Technique one, which one do you think is better? Which one would you prefer to run on a team? But um, until he's available on Dokkan Battle Builder, we're going to forget about the tech one. We're only going to talk about the strength one as of right now. Best linking buddies in-game is the OG Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. A lot of people give this man hate. He's not that bad. Attack plus 70% at the start of the turn. Still not bad. He's technique. He has that built-in crit. So if you give him full crit, he'll be doing some decent damage. He links for six link skills with him. The only thing that he's missing is GT. So he has, what, two key... So he has two key that he links, and then 35% uh, attack buff, and a 22,000 flat out boost. He has the, um, the agility Goku, which we had already talked about earlier in the in the, in the the video. He has, what, that's three key, 25% uh, attack buff, and limit breaking form for attack plus 2,000 flat out. And then you have the non-Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, which is the only Super non-Super Saiyan 3 that links very well with him. And this is the strength one, so they actually will work very well on a super strength team. You have the Golden Warrior Super, so you have what, two key, four key with GT, four key and 25% attack buff. So these guys link very well with each other. And this guy does really good attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. So yes, they are very, very good units. Um, in terms of a mono strength team, uh, we already talked about this go this Trunks over here. He's going to be primary unit. You also have the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Unfortunately, this guy does not have over and a flash, which kind of sucks. He only has one key that links with him, but he does have Super Saiyan Fierce Battle, which is 25% attack buff. He is also the best defender, one of the best defenders for heroes and in the game for strength. Um, 
I think the only one that's better is like the Tech Golden Freeze or the Agility Golden Freeze. There are some other ones that are really good at it, but in terms of the damage reduction, he's really freaking awesome. Uh, then you also have for four Link skills, the Rage Vegeta, which is what? Two key and 20% attack buff, which is pretty awesome. Plus, he's good with the, with the counters, so he is pretty awesome on a mono strength team. Uh, as we stated before, the Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku Giant Grade 8, he shares two key for GT, 25% attack buff, and uh, limit breaking form. And then you have these guys over here, which you're probably not going to run too much. The Super Saiyan Trunks Future hybrid, uh, is, is here. It's the, it's it reduces damage by 40% attack and defense, up 120% less HP remaining, the, the greater the increase. So, I mean, I don't like the Trunks myself because of that, but whatever, he is there available for four link skills with him. Um, but honestly, uh, I would say out of all these for linking buddies, um, these top guys over here, actually put this over here are going to be your best uh and then oh that there we go sorry the vegetas the, the two vegetas and the trunks are going to be the best and this is a support unit so it doesn't really matter if you link with him or not but he is there if you throw this vegeta in the middle which you don't need to do because of that defense on his uh, on his passive it comes into play as soon as he comes on the field it's uh you don't need him in the middle but um there's that for the mono strength again on super saiyan 3 team um as i stated before you really don't need to worry about too much. It's actually, I, I have this set up as, as pure Saiyans. It doesn't really matter. We'll just remove one of them out of there, which is that one uh, Vegeta Blue. So, I mean, honestly, there's really nothing else to say about this. The This is the best linking buddy for him in game is the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, as said. We talked about the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I just got his Dokken Awakening. And then these three guys over here are going to be really good for him on the Super Saiyan 3 team. The ones on the bottom, not so much. They're really not that good of units. He is a support unit. He is a damage reduction, but we talked about the links. So, honestly, the Super Saiyan 4 Easy A Goku can link decent with him. You have a 25% attack buff, Golden Warrior for one key and limit breaking form. Not that great because there's not enough key there for my, for my liking. Um, and then you have this guy over here, which is Golden Warrior. So he has, what, one key, 25%, and flat-out boost, boost as well. Um, I'm really I'm really not liking it too much. Um, I think the GT units will probably be better off linking with him, so that way you get the GT buff as well. So honestly, I think these two will probably be better off linking together um, just because of their uh, GT link and then their um, Golden Warrior link, so that way they'll have at least three key. Um, outside of that, that's it. That's it for their linking buddies. Um, we will discuss the technique Vegeta and the um, the strength one in, in depth, and we will talk about the physical and the uh, what's the other one? The, it's the physical and the uh, oh, the other strength one because we have the two strength ones. So it's the two strength ones, the two strength Vegetas, and the new technique and the physical one. But we'll do that in a separate video. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful and informative. These guys finally got the Oaken Awakens, yay! So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I hope you guys can run a really awesome Super Saiyan three team. Um, I will go ahead and do my video of the super saiyan 3 category as well I, i'm not sure if i've dropped that yet or not but i'm probably gonna end up putting this one out around the same time as that one but anyway guys i'll catch you all in the comments peace out